If you're an RV camping newbie, the truth is you don't know what you don't know. <gasps> Trust me because I know. Four years ago, I bought my little guy Max trailer and I was clueless. So don't be like me and make these needless RV rookie mistakes. Let's get you prepared and help you master RV camping 101. But first, if you're new here, I'm Randy. And every Thursday, I help you make big memories in small campers and say it with me because weekends are just too short. Guys, all of these mistakes can easily be avoided and I'm gonna tell you how, but the last one, oh yeah, the last one. This one's the grand daddy of them all. It'll help you prevent making mistakes on your very first camping trip and for many, many, many years to come. So you have to stay tuned for this one. Mistake number one is not knowing with 100% certainty that your tow vehicle can safely tow your new RV. This is very important because it's dangerous to drive an RV down the road when the weight of the RV exceeds the towing capacity. Mistake number two is not knowing your tow vehicle's payload capacity. Equally important to knowing your vehicle's towing capacity is knowing how much cargo you can carry safely in your tow vehicle because there is a limit to what your vehicle can safely carry. Now I know I'm getting a little technical here, but this is a mistake that most RV newbies make because they don't even know that there's a weight limit to what the vehicle can safely carry. I know I didn't know what I should bring with me on my first camping trip, so I loaded everything, including the kitchen sink, and put it in my vehicle. Yep, talking from experience here, because I had no clue about payload capacity. Problem is, if you exceed your tow vehicle's payload capacity, this could cause expensive transmission problems and you're going to have less control over your vehicle. And this is a perfect segue into mistake number three. And that's not buying your essential RV gear ahead of time. There's a certain amount of RV camping gear and gear for your RV that you're going to have to buy before your first camping trip. And you're going to be frustrated if you don't have this stuff. I'm talking about things like a sewer hose to empty your black tank and gloves so that you don't have to touch that sewer hose or the things at the dump station. Of course, listing all these things right now in this video will take too much time away from the other important things I need to share with you. But no worries, I did a previous video that will tell you exactly what you need along with a handy checklist that you can download. And I'll leave information for that video in the video description below. Oh my gosh, we're already up to mistake number four. And that is don't bring the kitchen sink with you because less is always more, especially on your first RV camping trip. The mistake I made, and it's gonna be tempting for you to make the same mistake. And that's watching a bunch of other YouTube videos telling you about the other things that you're gonna need to bring. And when you do this, you're gonna end up with a bunch of things you're never gonna use. Yep, I'm talking from experience. Here's the thing, every RV has different things that that specific RV will need to make it more comfortable. And we all have our different special things that we love to bring with us. So there's no way for someone else to give you the perfect nice to have stuff list. After just one or two camping trips, you can make your own nice to have list. And by doing it this way, you're gonna save yourself a lot of money. Mistake number five is a mistake that I don't want you to make. But first, real quick, if you have any questions or any comments about anything that we're talking about today or anything else that's on your mind, let me know in the comments section below. Anything goes because we can all learn from each other and I always love reading your comments. Mistake number five is spending your first RV camping night at a crowded campground. I know you're gonna be super excited to take your first camping trip. I know I still get really excited when I go camping and I've been camping for over four years. But I'm gonna strongly suggest that your first RV camping night is spent in your driveway or a nearby camping spot that's not crowded and congested with other RVs and people. And this way, you're just not gonna be distracted and you can focus and spend 100% of your time getting acquainted with your new RV. This is called a shakedown and you're gonna be really glad you did it. And it's gonna save you a lot of frustration. Woohoo! 
Mistake number six is not picking the right campground and the right campsite for your first camping adventure. But the first thing you need to know is every campground's different. And a big rookie mistake is to assume that you're gonna have full hookups at every campground. RV parks typically have all hookups, water, electric, and sewer. But if you're gonna be camping at a state park, more than likely, they're only gonna have electric hookups. Now, typically, I don't really care if I have hookups or not, but as a first time RV camper, having electric hookups is probably gonna be important to you because you don't wanna worry about things like your RV battery levels. And this leads me to the next important thing you need to think about when you're making your first campsite reservation. And that is that most campsites are back in, which means you're gonna have to back your RV into it. But there are some campgrounds that offer pull-through campsites, which means just that. You pull your RV into the campsite and you don't have to back it up. This is a biggie because on your first camping trip, you can be really excited and you're gonna have a lot on your mind. So maybe finding a pull-through campsite might be best for you so you don't have the additional worries of backing up. Just use your best judgment. Mistake number seven is not watching someone show you how to set up and tear down your campsite. When you bought your RV, hopefully someone walked you through this process. But as a first timer, there's so much information that's being thrown at you. So don't make the mistake of thinking that you're gonna remember everything. I'm talking about things like how to properly level your RV and how to dump your black tank for the first time. Another really important part of this process is hitching and unhitching your RV. Because doing this wrong could be a disastrous mistake. Even though someone's told you how to do this, you need to watch a video or two of someone actually showing you the process. Watching someone else do it once or twice is gonna make the world a difference in helping you avoid making common mistakes. There's hundreds of videos on YouTube that you can watch. Yay, YouTube. Mistake number seven is a really common mistake that newbies make and seasoned RVers make. And it's one that you're probably gonna make even after you know better. And that is before you unhitch your RV, it's really important to make sure that any cords or hoses that you are gonna use can actually reach the outlet and the hookup. And when you don't do this and your cords and hoses can't reach, this can be very frustrating. Imagine this, you're getting your campsite all set up, you've unhitched your RV, and you go to plug your electric cord into the electric hookup, and you're like, hmm it doesn't reach. You may be just one or two inches away from reaching it. So now you have to start the whole process again by hitching your RV back up to your tow vehicle, back your RV back up again, but this time making sure it's one or two inches closer to the hookup, and then unhitching your RV all over again. Yeah, this can be really annoying and frustrating when it happens. Mistake number nine is being afraid to ask for help. Over the course of probably over 100 camping trips, yeah, I'm an obsessed camper. I've learned that RV campers are the nicest people in the world. And 99% of them are willing to help you out if you have a question or you just need help with something. So never be afraid to ask for help. Ooh, mistake number 10. And I was really guilty of this one for quite some time. And that's not knowing the unwritten campground etiquette rule rules. Yep, there's campground etiquette that's not written everywhere that every seasoned RVer knows and that you need to know too. And the biggest one of these that most RV newbies are clueless about is not walking through other people's campsites. It may be a shortcut to get somewhere, but just don't do it. Because people, they really don't like it when you do this. I just laugh at myself because it was several months before I knew about this unwritten rule. But it does explain some of those funny, crazy looks I got. You're gonna thank me when I tell you how to avoid mistake number 11. 11. Yeah, this mistake is not making your campground reservations now. Today, more than ever, campgrounds are packed. So you'll be making a big mistake if you don't make all your upcoming season camping reservations 
right now. Yes, right now. Yes, right now. Or I guess what I'm trying to say is, as soon as you're done watching these YouTube videos, trust me on this one, every day that goes by and every minute that goes by means that there's less and less campsites that are gonna be available. Oh, it's so important that you don't make mistake number 12, and that's not having the right RV checklist. And more specifically, I'm talking about having a setup and a teardown checklist. Because there's so many moving parts, this is the best way for you to avoid unnecessary damage and issues on down the road. And having a checklist, it just takes the guesswork out of wondering, hmm. Did I forget something? So, now that you're an official RV camper, you need the right checklist. And I know just the perfect one for you. Not only is it the ultimate RV setup and teardown checklist, but drum roll please, it's customizable, it's printable, and you can access it on your phone. Yep, you're really gonna want this. And this video right up here is gonna tell you all about it. So go ahead and click on this video right up here right now, or if you don't see it up here, I'll leave a link to this video in the video description below. So, I'll see you over in that video next.